we are junior jee students we are handling trigonometry we have successfully completed exercise 6b yesterday i said some formula and concept regarding exercise 1c now junior jee maths only Solved problems page number two fifty. Solved problems page number two fifty. Example two. Let's try some example ones. If zero less than a comma b. If zero less than ये काम भी लेस दें 90 डिग्रीज कास ये इज इक्वल टू 5 बाई 30 साइन भी इज इक्वल टू 4 बाई 5 साइन भी इज इक्वल टू 4 बाई 5 पाइन साइन ऑफ ए प्लस बी पाइन साइन ऑफ a plus b given condition that 0 comma a comma b 0 less than a comma b less than 90 you can understand that a comma b less than 90 and greater than 0 so it is in four, first quadrant of course a and b both are in first quadrant so by condition we have by condition a belongs to q1 comma b belongs to q1 we have to find sine of a plus b given cos a is equal to 5 by 13 cos a is equal to 5 by 13 put this is 5 this is 13 this is A, this is B, this is C. Find the Pythagoras theorem concept. AC square is equal to AB square plus BC square. So 13 whole square is equal to 5 square plus BC square. So BC square is equal to 144 this is 169 minus 25 bc is equal to 12 i think you have faced such problem plenty of times directly you can write depends upon this triangle sin b you can write 12 by this is b this is c so you need it put an angle this is same concept. So B is here. Cos A is 5 by 30. So angle A, this is 5 by 30. Okay, correct. Cos A 5 by 30. So it becomes 5 here. Adjacent side by hypotenuse. This becomes 12. So A C square is equal to A B square plus B C square. Okay. Now sin A we need. Sin A is equal to after the hypotenuse it is 12 by 13. Now once again we can calculate about cos B. So sin B is given as 4 by 5. Put a right angle triangle. Sin B. Sin B means opposite side by hypotenuse. Put here B. This is A, this is C. So this is a 3. Cos B is equal to you can write here this is 3 by 5. Now we need to calculate sine of a plus b. Write the formula compound angle sine of a plus b is sin a cos b plus cos a sin b. Sin a cos b plus cos a sin b. Sin a value 12 by 30. Sin A value 12 by 13 into cos B value 3 by 5 plus cos A value 5 by 13 
into sine b value 12 by 30. 12 threes of 36 plus 5 twelves of 60 whole by 13 threes of 65. So this is 96 by 60. Sine a plus b. Sine a cos b. Plus cos a sin b. Sine a is equal to 12 by 13. Sine a into cos b 4 by 5. Here, yeah, correct. Sin b equal to 4 by 3, cos b is equal to 3 by 3, correct. Okay. Sin a cos b plus cos a sin b. Sin b value 4 here I can draw. This is 4 by 5. So here it is 36 plus 20. 36 plus 20 becomes 56. 56 by 65 is correct. Now let us discuss for third question. Most I will pay two marks question. Most I will pay two marks question. Prove that. Prove that the sine square 52 and a half degrees. Sin square 52 and half degrees minus sin square 22 and half degrees is equal to root 3 plus 1 by 4 root 2. Root 3 plus 1 by 4 root 2. Sin square 52 and half minus sin square 22 and half. Take LHS. Sin square 52 and half degree minus sin square 22 and half degree. Write the formula sin square A minus sin square B. Sin square a minus sin square b formula in yesterday class I said sin of a plus b into sin of a minus b. So that is equal to you can take here sin of 52 and of plus 22 and of into sin of 52 and of degree minus 22 and of degree. So sin 52 and half plus 22 and half becomes sin 75 degrees. Sin 75 degrees into this is sin 30 degrees. Yesterday I said the value of sin 75 and cos 15 are both are equal. The value is root 3 plus 1 by 2 root 2. You need to remember, you have to remember the value. This into sin 30 value 1 by 2. Multiply numerator and denominator, so it is root 3 plus 1 by 4 root 2. This is our answer. Sometimes we used to give the question like this not to prove that simply find the value of sin square 52 and half minus sin square 22 and half degree. Fourth question, prove that tan 70 degrees minus tan 20 degrees is equal to 2 tan 50 degrees. Then it is also a MP question, in answer to us it is most a MP question. Tan 70 degrees minus tan 20 is equal to 2 tan 50. Now, consider tan 70 degrees is equal to tan 50 plus 20. Use the formula tan of A plus B. 
tan of a plus b formula tan a plus tan b by 1 minus tan a tan b so this is tan 50 plus tan 20 by 1 minus tan 50 into tan 20 we are considering the value to tan 70 degrees take cross multiplication tan 70 degrees into 1 minus tan 50 into tan 20 is equal to tan 50 plus tan 20. That implies multiply tan 70 minus this is tan 70 tan 20 into tan 50. Tan 70, tan 20 into tan 50 is equal to tan 50 plus tan 20. Tan 50 plus tan 20. Let us remember the formula if A plus B is equal to 90 degrees, that implies tan A into tan B is equal to 1. Here tan 70 into tan 20 becomes 1 because 70 plus 20 gives 90. Now you can write this one tan 70 minus tan 50. Tan 70 minus tan 50 is equal to tan 50 plus tan 20. This tan minus tan 20 take a right side and tan 20. Take your left side, you can write here tan 70 degrees minus tan 20 degrees is equal to 2 tan 50 degrees. Tan 70 minus tan 20 is equal to 2 tan 50 degrees. So it depends upon tan of A plus B, how consider the sum. This is IMP question in two marks and the object also most IMP question next question also very good conceptual question fifth one page number 55 if a plus b is equal to 5 by 4 if a plus b is equal to 5 by 4 prove that 1 plus tan a Prove that 1 plus tan A into 1 plus tan B is equal to 2. 1 plus tan A into 1 plus tan B is equal to 2. And second question, cot A minus 1 into cot B minus 1 is equal to 2. Cot A minus 1 into cot B minus 1 is equal to 2. These two questions are also most IMP questions that which are useful in plenty of concepts, objectual concepts. In objective, you can face multi conceptual questions. In multi conceptual questions, these are important. Given A plus B is equal to 5 by 4. A plus B is equal to 5 by 4. B is equal to pi by 4 minus A. Now apply tan both sides. Apply tan on both sides. That implies tan B is equal to tan of pi by 4 minus A. Pi by 4 meaning is 45. So tan B is equal to apply the formula tan of A minus B that is tan A minus tan B by 1 plus tan A tan B. Right here tan pi by 4 minus tan A by 1 plus tan pi by 4 into tan A. That implies tan B is equal to tan 45 value 1. 1 minus tan A by 1 plus tan A. 1 minus tan A by 1 plus tan A. Now, 
we write here add one both sides add one both sides so it becomes one plus tan b one plus tan b is equal to one plus of one minus tan a by one plus tan a. Take MCM. That implies one plus tan B. One plus tan B is equal to take it and see if it becomes one plus tan A plus one minus tan A whole by one plus tan A. Here tan a plus tan a minus tan a get cancelled. Right here 2 by 1 plus tan a. Therefore, we got the value as 1 plus tan b is equal to 2 by 1 plus tan a. Take cross multiplication. You get 1 plus tan a into 1 plus tan b is equal to 2. 1 plus tan a into 1 plus tan b is equal to You should remember this one as a formula. If a plus b is equal to 45 or if a plus b is equal to 5 by 4 then 1 plus tan a into 1 plus tan b is equal to 2. Plenty of times you may face this formula in trigonometry object. Now, next to in this one, second question. If a plus b is equal to 5 by 4, then show that cot a minus 1 into cot b minus 1 is equal to 2. Second one, given, take this one given a plus b is equal to 5 by 4. Now you write apply cot both sides. Apply cot both sides. That implies cot of a plus b. Cot of a plus b is equal to cot 5 by 4. Cot of a plus b formula cot b cot a minus 1 by cot b plus cot a. Cot b cot a minus 1 by cot b plus cot a is equal to 1. The value of cot 45. Take cross multiplication. You get here cot b cot a minus 1 is equal to cot b plus cot a cot b plus cot a we need to prove cot a minus 1 into cot b minus 1 equal to 2 so better to add one both then cot a cot a cot b minus cot a minus cot b here you multiply this one cot a cot b here cot a cot b we got minus cot a taken the set you will be getting minus cot b is equal to 2 so simply add 1 this 1 taken was 2 here 1 plus minus of minus 1 plus plus 1 is equal to 2 cot a cot b here minus cot a minus cot b we got everything is equal to here plus 1 is there is equal to 1 here if you multiply cot a cot b we got cot a cot b cot is equal to cot b if you multiply cot a cot b minus cot a minus cot b plus 1 is equal to 2 so is equal to 1 so what is happening here everything okay so add here we get 2 add minus 1 both sides right now Right, cot a cot b minus 2 is equal to cot a plus cot b minus 1. Those steps taken this side. Here cot b cot a minus cot a minus 1 minus cot a minus cot b plus 1 is equal to 2. Among these two terms, take cot a common. Within the brackets, we can write cot b minus 1. 
minus one you take comma within brackets you can write part b minus one equal to that implies again you can take the comma as part b minus one into part a minus one part b minus one into part a minus one therefore that's all we got the answer the proof is that part a minus one into part b minus one is equal to two this is also imp for objective but this is most imp a plus b equal to 45 this is 1 plus 10 into 1 plus 10 b is equal to 2 now example 60 page number 252 Page two fifty two example six. If a sine alpha is equal to one by root ten. If a sine alpha is equal to one by root ten. Gamma sin beta is equal to 1 by root 5. Alpha, gamma, beta are acute angles. So that here alpha, gamma, beta are acute. Then show that alpha plus beta is equal to pi by 4. Alpha, beta is equal to acute given. Given sine alpha is equal to 1 by root 10. So you can write here cos alpha. Cos alpha equal to take root of 1 minus sine square alpha. So root of 1 minus 1 by 10. 10 minus 1, 9. Root 9 by 10. It becomes 3 by root 10. Because alpha, gamma, beta are acute. Acute meaning below 90 degrees. Below 90 degrees, then we can say that alpha and beta are positive. So sin alpha, sin beta are positive. Cos alpha is positive. Now, sin beta you take sin beta is equal to 1 by root 5. Use the formula cos beta is equal to root of 1 minus sin square beta. So that is equal to root of 1 minus 1 by 5. Take an LCM 5 minus 1 becomes 4, 4 root 2. So 2 by root 5 we got. Now calculate alpha plus beta we should prove. So you can write sin of alpha plus beta, sin of alpha plus beta formula sin alpha cos beta plus cos alpha sin beta, sin alpha value 1 by root 10 and cos beta value 2 by root 5, 1 by root 10 into 2 by root 5 plus cos alpha 3 by root 10 into sin beta 1 by root 5. Here you can understand 2 plus 3, 5 by root 50, that is equal to 5 by root 50 can be understood as 5 root 2, that can be written in the form of 25 into 2, 25 square root is 5, 5 root 2 you can write here, it is becoming as 1 by root 2 we got, whenever sin of alpha plus beta is equal to 1 by root 2 we got. For what value of sine it becomes 1 by root 2? It is 45, 5 by 4. Sine 45 equal 1 by root 2, that is why alpha plus beta you can write as 5 by 4. Now, seventh question, page number 252. Example 7. 
if sin a is equal to 12 by 13, cos b is equal to 3 by 5. If sin a is equal to 12 by 30, cos b is equal to 3 by 5. Neither a nor b in first quadrant. Neither a nor b in first quadrant. Neither a nor b in first quadrant. Find the quadrant which a plus b lies. Find a plus b lies in which quadrant. Given sin a equal to 12 by 30. Given sin a is equal to 12 by 30. Neither a nor b in first quadrant. Sin a given as positive, but it is not in first quadrant. So whenever sin a is not in first quadrant, then you can understand that a belongs to q2 because sin is positive second part. A belongs to q2. Next. Cos B, cos B is equal to 3 by 5. Given as a positive, but he is discussing with us that beta not belongs to Q, B not belongs to Q1. So we can say that B belongs to Q4 because cos is positive in Q1 and Q4. If it is not in Q1, you can understand that B is in Q4. Now cos A is equal to, write the formula, cos A is equal to root of 1 minus sin square b. Root of 1 minus sin square b means 144 by 169. 144, 164, 144 by 169 becomes here. At taken LCM it is 25 by 169. It becomes 5 by 13. You can understand that A belongs to Q2 since since a belongs to q2 cos a is equal to negative in q2 so write it one as minus 5 by 30 also you can consider sin using sin a depends upon sin a we have calculated cos a depends upon cos b we can calculate it sin b now write the formula sin b is equal to root of 1 minus cos square b root of 1 minus cos square b. So root of 1 minus cos square b meaning is 9 by 25. So it is over root of 16 by 25. It is 4 by 5. Since you can write here, since b belongs to q4, therefore sin b is equal to, sin b is a negative in q4, you write minus 4 by 5. Please wait sir. Just 10 minutes. <coughs> sin a is equal to minus 4 by 5. Now, sin of a plus b. Sin of a plus b for sin a cos b. Sin a cos b plus cos a sin b. Sin a cos b plus cos a sin b that is equal to sin a value 12 by 30. And cos b we have calculated, we got it is minus 5 by 30 plus cos a, cos a value here cos b, cos b it is not 3 by 5, 3 by 5 plus cos a, cos a value minus 5 by 30 into sin b. Sin b we got as minus 4 by 5. So 12 is or 36 minus half minus becomes plus. This is 20 by this is 65. So you can write here 56 by 65. We got a sign of a plus b is positive. So the a plus b angle may be is greater than 0. A plus b angle may be in first or second. We are discussing the Given the question that find a plus b lies in which quadrant, 
so you need to calculate cos of a plus cos also also you should calculate cos of a plus b cos of a plus b formula cos a cos b minus sin a sin b cos a cos b minus sin a sin b so that is equal to what is cos a here write the value cos a value minus 5 by 30 into cos b cos b already we have calculated here the given cos b is 3 by 5 plus not plus here put minus sin a value 12 by 30 into sin b we have calculated as minus 4 by 5 so here this is minus 15 this is minus of minus 12 48 by this is 65 48 minus 15 becomes 33 by 65 this is also greater than 0 sin and cos both greater than 0 we got so absolutely we can say that a plus b in first part then since since sin of a plus b comma sin of a plus b comma cos of a plus b since sin of a plus b comma cos of a plus b are positive therefore a plus b lies in q1 that is in first quadrant now eighth question
cos 90 degrees plus sin 90 degrees by cos 90 degrees minus sin 90 degrees. You write here divide by cos 90 degrees to numerator comma denominator to numerator denominator divided with the cos 9. So you can write here cos 9 degrees by cos 9 degrees by separate separate you will get cos 9 degrees by cos 9 degrees cos 9 degrees by cos 9 degrees plus sin 9 degrees by cos 9 degrees by again you can write cos 9 degrees by cos 9 degrees minus sin 9 degrees by cos 9 degrees cos 9 by cos 9 becomes 1 so 1 plus sin theta by cos theta is tan theta 1 plus tan 9 by 1 minus tan 9 that is equal to you can understand here the same concept 1 plus tan a by 1 minus tan a tan of 45 plus here directly you can write here tan 45 plus 9 degrees Tan 45 plus 9 degrees becomes tan 54 degrees. This is the question. 9 questions completed today. Okay, students, let us going to discuss from 10th question onwards in next class. That is the problem.